It's been a long time coming, but Alexis Sanchez is now set to complete his move to Inter Milan on a 10-month loan deal. Sanchez, who didn't play a minute of pre-season, Sanchez, who has, let's be honest, been a massive failure at United, is now on his way out. But what's the full story of Sanchez to Inter Milan? What I'm going to do in this video is run through what's happened this summer, what's happened now, or the move actually finally about to happen, and give my own opinion on whether I think it's the right or wrong thing for United. Now, before I start, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and get involved. But let's get straight into this one. First thing I want to do is apologise for there being no videos over the last few days. I have been away, but I'm back in business. And let's talk about Sanchez. So what has happened this summer? It's been going on all summer long. Sanchez, who was away with Chile, playing international football, came back, didn't get involved in a preseason. He wasn't ready. And United wanted to sell him, but United couldn't find a buyer that was willing to pay his wages. And that's been the big sticking point about Sanchez leaving United. His wages have always been the problem. But now United have found a deal with Inter Milan that will see Sanchez join them on a 10-month loan deal. Now, what I'm going to do is run through a few of the finer details now that have come from Fabrizio Romano, who has been on point with the United transfer news this summer. And he's leading the story here with Sanchez to Inter as well. Fabrizio is saying that Sanchez will join Inter on a 10-month loan deal and that Inter have no obligation to buy him once that loan deal is over. And United will still pay £215,000 a week of Sanchez's £390,000 a week wages. So in effect, United are paying to get rid of Sanchez. So with three Premier League goals to his name, Sanchez has probably played his last game for United. But is it the right thing that United are letting him leave on loan and that United are effectively paying to get rid of him? Let's talk about that. But before we do, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. And you know the guys over at OneFootball have supported United People's TV over the summer. And you should download their app. It's free. There's a link in the description. So make sure you go down there, follow that, and follow all the latest United news. So they have all the latest on Sanchez. His medical is scheduled for today. There'll be all the latest Sanchez news over on that app. You can follow every single game from United across the season, all the stats from each matches. We've got Southampton away on Saturday. One Football have all the stats from that game as it happens. So make sure you follow the link in the description. And it helps United People's TV as well, supporting United People's TV and supporting One Football at the same time. What a great partnership. So there's a link in the description, so make sure you follow that. But let's talk about Sanchez in a bit more detail. For me, getting rid of Sanchez was one of the single most important things that United needed to do this summer. And I said that on multiple occasions. In a video I did sort of recently, I said, look, if Sanchez is staying, you know, what if he can turn it around? But he isn't staying. Solskjaer doesn't want him at the club. And that's one thing Solskjaer, I feel, has definitely done this summer. He's followed through on what he said he wanted to do. And he's cleansing that dressing room. And for me, Sanchez was a massive symbol of everything that we've done wrong post Fergie. A player who's on extortionate wages, a player who's come to United and just hasn't proven himself. And we've signed these big name stars like Di Maria and Sanchez, the two big standouts that just haven't worked at United. And Solskjaer's followed through on what he said he's going to be doing cleansing that dressing room and getting rid of the players that he does not want at the club. Lukaku has gone. Sanchez has gone. Smalling, Jones and Rojo have been nowhere near matchday squads. So I think Solskjaer has been ruthless in certain things he's done, certainly with leaving players out and getting rid of players. And Sanchez, I wouldn't have wanted him to get minutes ahead of Mason Greenwood this season. And I wouldn't have wanted him to get minutes ahead of Martial or Rashford either. So get rid of him. Now, the idea that we're paying... 215k of his 390k a week wages. Now that's something different altogether, but it goes to show just how much of a bad position United forced themselves into with Sanchez. It almost felt like us signing him in the first place was just a one-up on City. We didn't really want him or need him, but United went in and stopped him going to City. And at that point, it felt like a, a mini victory, but it couldn't have been any worse. Sanchez for me, was the single worst transfer that we have conducted since Fergie retired. Because of the impact it's had at the club, the sort of money mentality that is brought into the club, the problems it's created with David De Gea, 
the problems it will create, it had created, sorry, with Ander Herrera leaving, and it will create more problems with other players down the line. Sanchez is the big issue that has now left, well, soon too, have left United, and it's a massive, massive thing. And I think United have absolutely made the right decision. Even if it's costing us a bit of money, I'd rather I spend that money and get rid of him than have Sanchez around the club. And clearly, that's what Solskjaer thinks too. That being said, as happy as I am for Sanchez to have left the club, I do think United have ballsed up here in one respect. Because we were short up front for goals last year. We weren't lethal in front of goal. And we've gone and got rid of Sanchez and Lukaku, two senior attackers, one in Lukaku who actually scored goals, and Sanchez who was nothing more than just a, a pit, just a money pit of money leaving the club and no goals coming in return. But letting both of those players leave and not bringing somebody in is a huge risk from United. Sure, Mason Greenwood's going to come through and I can't wait to see what he can do for United. But this leaves us with Rashford, Greenwood and Martial up front. And Martial's now injured and probably out of the Southampton game. That isn't enough up front for United. So we are going to struggle for goals this year. So I think while United made the right decision in getting rid of Lukaku and getting rid of Sanchez, both deals should have happened far earlier in the summer. And United should have had time and money to go out and sign at least one replacement. Instead, we're left short. And Solskjaer's got to work something of a miracle to get a lot of goals out of these attackers. It's just a risk I don't think United needed to take. And maybe that was what Solskjaer wanted to do. Maybe he really wanted to put faith in Greenwood to come through. And you live and die by your own decisions. And that's what Solskjaer might be doing with Greenwood, Rashford and Martial. But I think United could have done better in how we dealt with getting rid of Sanchez and Lukaku. I feel it's been a little bit too late, but I'm glad and happy that both are gone. So for me, getting rid of those players, getting rid of Sanchez, the right move, but not bringing in a replacement and letting all the deals happen so late with Lukaku and Sanchez, that was the wrong move. I think United could have conducted themselves better in the transfer market with those two transfers. But let me know what you think about Sanchez to Inter in the comments below. Should United be paying that much of his wages? Should we? Or should we just be keeping him at the club giving him another chance and seeing if he can return to the Arsenal Sanchez that we all hoped that we signed. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But Sanchez to Inter, it's going to happen on a loan deal. No obligation to buy from Inter, but if he has a barnstorming season in Serie A, I think they'll buy him. Let me know what you think about this whole transfer in the comments below, as always. And if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, though, take it easy.